we are going to solve question number 10 of exercise 7.2. The question says, find the area of a rhombus if its vertices are 3, 0, 4, 4, 5, minus 1, 4 and minus 2, minus 1 taken in order. So here, you have to find the area of this rhombus and the vertices of all four, the coordinates of all four vertices are given to us. And the hint is given that the area of a rhombus is equal to half d1 into d2 means half product of its diagonal. So if I have to find out the area of this rhombus, I must know the length of each diagonal. So let's find what is the length of each diagonal. The first diagonal here is AC. And to find the distance between these two points, I have to use distance formula. And distance formula says if I have to find the distance between two points, let's say A and B, and the coordinate of A are x1, y1, and the coordinate of B is x2, y2, then the distance formula is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So this is our distance formula. Applying same formula here, I have to find the distance between AC. That is our first diagonal and the coordinate of A are 3 and 0 and C are minus 1 and 4. So using distance formula, x2 minus x1, consider this as x1 by 1 and this as x2 by 2. So x2 minus x1. So x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. For the solving this, this is minus 4 whole square and this is 4 whole square. For the solving this, this is 16 and again this is 16. Negative value will be converted into positive because the power is even and 16 plus 16 is 32 and 32 can be written as uh, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So 2 raised to power 5 means 2 multiplied 5 times. So I can solve this further. I can make, make this pair. And if I take one number out from each pair, so inside the bracket, only 2 will remain there. Sorry, inside the root, only 2 will be there. So it should be 4 root 2 units. So the distance between our first diagonal should be 4 root 2 units. Now the second diagonal is db. Now use the same formula. I have to find the distance between db. Consider these two points as x1, y1 and these two as x2, y2. So our x2 is 4. 4 minus, it is minus 2 whole square. This is formula x2 minus. So x2 is 4 minus is minus and our x1 is minus 2. So there will be two negative sign here plus y2 is 5 and minus minus 1 whole square. Now for solve this further it will be 4 minus minus is plus so it will be plus 2 whole square and it will be 5 and it will be minus minus plus so it will be 1 whole square. So on this further, 4 plus 2 is 6 square. And again here, 5 plus 1 is 6 square. 6 square is 36. And again, this will be 36. It should be 72. Okay. Now, if I have to solve this further, I have to factorize this. So these are the factors of 72. So 72 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. So I can make these two as pair. So I can take 3 and 2 common out of this pair and there will be root 2 and this will be 3 root 2 is 6 root 2 units. 
So the distance between our second diagonal is 6 root 2 units. Now we know the distance between each diagonal. So if I have to find the area of this rhombus, I have to apply this formula. And how our first D1 is 4 root 2. And our second D diagonal is 6 root 2 unit. So the area will be in unit units unit square. Okay, now I can solve this. This can be cancelled two times, and we know that whenever there are numbers, I have to multiply number with number, and I have to multiply root with root. And whenever two same root number are multiplied, root get cancelled, and it will be two. So it will be twenty-four unit square. Uh, the area will be 24 unit square. Okay, so this should be the answer for this last question. I hope you have understood this question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem with maths, you can directly contact us, our phone number, email address, and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.